This is part three of my Windows 95 rebuild. Uh, to start out, there was a problem with the machine um, earlier where it kept rebooting um, randomly while I was working on it. So the first thing I'm actually needing to do here is to replace uh, this power supply with one from this computer um, into the one that will be running Windows 95. Fortunately, replacing the power supply did not solve the problem. It turned out to actually be an issue with the motherboard, and I'll discuss the workaround for that in a later part of this video.
So at this point I have the power supply installed and I turn it on and as you'll hear it just randomly rebooted on its own. So at this point I'm a little frustrated. Um, I go into the BIOS and I try another solution. So if the issue is actually the motherboard, one thing you can do is uh, reduce the CPU frequency and the hope there is that uh, that will reduce the power draw. So I change it from a 200 megahertz uh, external frequency to 100 megahertz. As you'll see, that effectively reduces the clock speed to 1.5 gigahertz, which is way more than enough for Windows 95. So the next thing we need to do is copy over our Fix95 patches and patch files to this machine. To do that, I'm using Ubuntu, which is a lightweight Ubuntu distribution. Here I'm just showing an example where I've copied over a file from my USB stick into the 171 megabyte volume of the Windows machine. This isn't the actual patch, but this is just some other file I'm using as an example. So this is the fix95cpu.bat file that is included in the fix95cpu um, package. Uh, so this has everything uh, that you need to install the, um, the drivers or whatever that needs to um, get it to work on faster CPUs like for example my um, Pentium 4 which is I think almost 3 gigahertz so quite a bit faster than what Windows 95 was designed for. Um, so this is what I used. One reason I'm showing you this is because I needed because I don't have a floppy drive on the system I had to just copy the these files onto the hard local hard drive uh, but if you do that what you'll need to do with this file is actually edit this path so um, I just did a search replace, replace a colon slash with uh, whatever directory you end up calling, copying the fix95 um, code into. So I'll just go ahead and do replace all on that. And then you see it updates the path. So as long as you put all the, fi the fix95 CPU stuff in this folder on the local machine, this should work. So. Yeah, I think that's all I want to say about this particular file. Um, it does have kind of this weird ASCII art stuff at the top here. I'm not sure what that's actually supposed to look like. Anyways, you can just save this and then um, copy that along with the rest of your data onto the machine. So now all we need to do is execute the batch file from the uh, command prompt on Windows 95. Then once this is finished, I'm just going to restart the computer here. Uh, first thing I noticed when I booted this up, I got a weird blue screen complaining about some driver not being in here, VF backup. So I just hit yes, and things seem to work after that. Uh, I guess this still it, it still causes this problem every time the machine reboots, um, but you can just bypass it. So I'll have to trace down a solution for that in the future. We have success here. Uh, Windows is asking me to set the clock, and I guess it still thinks it's 2002 for some reason. Not sure why. But after doing this, it looked like everything was okay. Uh, Windows started to uh, try finding some drivers, but fortunately, I don't have the actual Windows installed disks, uh, so I can actually update them. Um, so I went ahead and just let it search anyway just to see what, what it would find. But as you can see here we are not running in safe mode anymore. There's no uh, safe mode text in the corner so uh, this patch was 
moderately successful other than that strange blue screen at the beginning. And just for fun here, let's change the background. 